I'm Julie Fayfan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to update the software for your Scan and Cut. It's easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is check which version of the software you have. So we're simply going to click on the Wrench tool, and then I'm going to scroll backwards to page 8 and keep going up until I see this VER, which is version, which will tell me which version of the software I currently have installed. So you can also go to scanandcut.com to see what the latest software is and to download it. And that's just what we're going to do now. So I'm starting at scanandcut.com and I'm going to go to support and downloads. And then you can enter your model number or you can just select your product group. I think it's a little easier if you just select your product group. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose scan and cut. And then I know my model is 650W and you would, oops, enter whatever yours is. And once you do that, it's going to show you a picture of the product so that you know it's the right one. And it will show you a link where you can click on getting the download that you want. It'll sort of detect what kind of computer you have, whether you're operating Windows or Mac, and along with your operating system. And you can, of course, change this if it guesses incorrectly. But all of this is correct for me. So I'm going to go ahead and say search. And it's going to tell me whether or not there's a download available. And I can see that there is, in fact, a download available. So I'm going to click on the Update Software button right there. And now I have to agree to the end user license agreement. And you can read it all here to see all the terms and conditions and all the legal stuff that's really important to make sure that you know. And once you've read it, you can say that you agree. There are also notes there for you in case you're curious or have questions about downloading that you can read about the update. Now it's going to ask me where I want to save it. So I have a USB and this is the most important thing. Your USB must be completely blank. You can have nothing else on your USB except for the software update in order for this to work. So I have my blank USB. I am saving the software update. It's going to save onto that USB and download. So that just takes a moment. Once it has downloaded, then I can go ahead and I can eject my USB. And as soon as it is safely ejected from my machine, and this is going to be the same thing whether you have a Mac or Windows, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you're just ejecting that. Never just rip a USB out of your computer. And once that's good to go, I have my USB thumb drive. I'm ready to put it into my Scan and Cut, and we are ready to update our software. So the first thing you want to do is turn the machine completely off. Once it's off, you're going to push the power and the load button at the same time. But when the screen lights up, boom, you immediately have to let go of the buttons or your machine will actually turn off. So I'm holding the power and the load button and then I let go. And now it's going to ask me, do you want to update via USB or via cord? And I want to update via USB thumb drive. So I'm just going to click update and it's going to go ahead. Now, of course, don't turn the main power off. You want to leave it on until the file is done updating. And as soon as it's done, it will be ready to go. So once it says update complete, I'm just going to press the power button to turn it off and the power button to turn it on. Voila, you have successfully updated the software in your machine. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my site at ballsdesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com. Yeah.